Hey guys, what's up? It's App Review Man. Today I have an app for all you Twitter users. Um, that app is Echofon. Now, Echofon has had a very successful application for the iPod and iPod Touch. Um, I have that application as well, and it works very good for posting simple Twitter updates. Now, they have taken it a step further and they have made it for Mac. Now, we'll open it up here. Here we go. It's a very small screen with a very nice display. Here you have all your um tweets that, you know, people you follow are right here. We have some Philip DeFranco, um Station, Shane Dawson, all right here and you can see I have 38 updates I did here are your mentions your messages uh, you have your list you can search for people and all that in here and it also has the growl feature which when someone posts a tweet it'll update it um, and it'll show it up here in the top right um, let's go look at the preferences that you can have. Growl notification, growl notification, like right there. Philip DeFranco just had a tweet. And it'll go away. I don't have it to stay on screen, but if you would, it would keep that message on the screen till you click on it. Um... I do have it synced with my iPhone, which is because I do have the Echo Fawn on my iPod Touch. So, let's go to General. Simple font size, when you click on an image, what it comes up with, how much it refreshes to get tweets. Um, you can highlight words, accounts all that what image source or service you want to use um here is when you um let's say you have a huge um facebook album that you want to pay like a huge url and we, you don't want to use up all your characters for that. What you will do is when you type in a tweet, it will automatically shorten that to one of the bit.ly, I think, to one of those. Um, you have, yeah, right here. You can have your um, a user account, and what your user account would do would be... Um, if you would to be signing in, you could see how many people clicked on that link that you have created um, and stuff like that. So here I'll show you guys. I'll put a tweet here. Um, If I can remember it here, what my website is. Um, I had an old one before this. I just made this one. So. No, I remember it now. Okay. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll hit enter, and it'll post the tweet, and it'll put it into a short link. Okay, you see? Right here, http colon slash bit.ly slash dh7ks3. What I'll do, click on it, and... 
it goes right to my website. Let me get rid of that. Don't do that. Okay, well, I'll get rid of it later. But it's a really nice um, interface. Very easy to send quick tweets and everything like that. Um, here you could even tweet your, what you're looking at. So, you know, add an image, screenshot. Let me try that. Let me just take one of that. And let's tweet that. And now it should come up with the um, Twitter picture service whenever I would click on it. Wait a little bit here. Get a Safari page up a while. So let's go there. Just minimize that quick. And it still didn't. Put, okay, there. So I'd click on that, and it, all, it comes up with a nice display. And right there's the picture. You could go back and forth and all that. Make it bigger. And let's try the current iTunes song so we'll do this one okay so right here it is and it has a nice little music note right here Try current safari. Huh, that didn't work. Well, what if we have it up? Okay, there it did. And it should put it into a small URL there again. Uh, you can go to your profile. F you can find a person. So, it's a really nice app to just have running and it also has a little uh, bubble up there to just simply click on it to go right to it so it's really nice if you love to tweet and all that or stay up to date with friends and news and everything else so that's all I have for you guys today thank you very much don't forget to rate comment and subscribe